Welcome back to Notorious Crafts. In this video, I will show you how you can make these miniature St. Patrick's Day desserts for your dollhouse. First up are these green drinks. So you will just need some miniature clear cups. I prefer using clear ones since you'll be able to see the drink inside. And now I'm just taking some resin and mixing it with green resin dye so that it'll look like a green drink. And now with the toothpick, I'm just going to pour in the resin one drop at a time just to prevent spillage. I'm also going to put timestamps down below in the description in case you want to jump around to one specific item. You can also save this video and come back when you want to make a specific project. After the resin is in all the cups, I put it under a UV light so that it can cure and turn solid. And here is how my green St. Patrick's Day punch turned out in the cups. Next, I'll show you how you can make this miniature cake using polymer clay. I'm going to use my clay pasta machine to flatten out the clay. And I also have these little cutouts. So I'm going to use the bigger circle to cut out my pieces of clay. And I'm going to use this green polymer clay from my Sculpey set. I start off by putting all of the clay through my pasta machine so I can get each of the colors nice and flat. And using this metal circle cutter, I'm going to cut out a few pieces of the green clay. I'll also put links down below to all the products and supplies that I use in this video. And then I did the same exact process for the white clay. I ended up cutting out a few more pieces than I originally intended since I want my cake to have a lot of height. So I now am stacking each of the circle slices. And now that I have the height of the cake that I want, I'm going to use this tool just to gently lift it up from my setting. And then now I'm just going to roll it just to even out the edges. And using my X-Acto knife, I'm going to cut a few slices of the cake so I can have a couple slices of cake on the side. To make this cake look more realistic, I am using this dotting tool to create some small holes into the surface just so that it can look like a real piece of cake. And I did the same thing to the two pieces of cake that I cut up and now I'm going to put this in the oven to bake. To make the decorations that are going to go on top of the cake, I am using this silicone mold and I'm going to use the same green clay that I used inside of the cake and I'm going to add some of this translucent clay so that it'll fit better inside of the mold. And now I'll just mix it together using my fingers. And once I have a consistency that I like, I will put it inside of the silicone mold and bake it. I do have to make these one at a time since I have to bake them individually. Here is how the frosting looks after it is baked and hardened. Next, I'm going to make the white frosting that is going to go on the outside of the cake. So I'm just grabbing some white polymer clay and placing it inside of a cup. And then I'm going to add in this translucent liquid polymer clay and then mix it all together. And a toothpick probably isn't the best thing to mix it with. I also forgot to warm up the clay with my fingers before trying to mix it together. So I am adding this clay softener to help out with the mixing process. I mixed all of that together using a popsicle stick until it got the consistency of a frosting. And now we are ready to put the frosting on each of the cake slices as well as the main cake. 
So I'm just starting by putting it on top of each slice of cake very carefully, starting by placing it on the top using this silicone stick. I also put it on the back of the cake where you can see the layers. So the frosting covers up some of the layers. The frosting is still wet. I place one of the green cake decorations on top of the slice. And now I'm ready to put frosting on the big piece of cake. I also let it cool after baking it since it was very hot and I didn't want the frosting to slide off of it. So I just let it completely cool and then I am now putting the frosting on top and then afterwards I'll put it on the sides. The frosting can also help hide some imperfections that are on the layers. Some of the white layers are overlapping into the green layer so it's nice to have the frosting to hide those imperfections. And now I am putting the green decorations on top of the big cake and I am just making sure the spacing between all of them is even. And since the frosting is made using polymer clay, you do need to bake it for it to harden. And here is the final product, how the cake looks after it is baked and hardened. I love how it turned out. I really like how realistic it looks. For the miniature cookies, I'm going to use this silicone mold of different sized cookies. So I'm going to use the round one and the square one. I also have these little tiny polymer clay clovers. So I'm going to place them on top of each of the cookies so that we have a cute little St. Patrick's Day themed cookie. I am using some cookie colored polymer clay and then putting it inside each of the cookie molds. I took out each of the little cookies before I baked them since I wanted to bake a lot of them at the same time. I had to be really careful not to put any scratches while the clay is still wet. And now I'm just going to continue putting more clay inside of the molds and just make a bunch of cookies. After baking them, I used the same frosting that I put on top of the cake and I'm just gonna put them on top of each of the cookies and then place one of the clovers on top of them. And then I will bake it again so that the frosting can harden. Next up, I will make these green macaroons. I will make them using this silicone mold that is just for making miniature macaroons. The silicone mold only has one of each size, so I'll place the clay inside and then take it out while it is still wet, and then I'm going to make a whole bunch of them and then bake them all together. I made quite a lot of them, so I put them on a baking tray and they are ready to go into the oven. After I bake them, I let them cool, and then now I'm going to take them and put some of the white frosting that I made earlier on the inside of each of them. And then I'm going to take another one of the macaroons and stack it on top of each other. And then I'll put them in the oven again, of course, so that the frosting can harden. And here is how all of the macaroons look when they are done. They do look very realistic. I love how the frosting looks. I ordered this large set of plastic tableware and I'm going to use this plate to put the macaroons inside. To make a cake stand, I am taking this bowl and this plate and then I'm just going to stack them on top of each other and it's going to make a perfect cake stand. I'm using this E6000 glue, and I think that should hold the two plastic pieces together very well. I don't think that hot glue will hold over time, so hopefully this glue will end up holding. And then I'll just put the bowl inside and then let it dry overnight. I 
I have these miniature green lollipops that could also be a really cute St. Patrick's Day dessert. I'm doing everything in the color green. To make some miniature wall decorations, I am using some of this clover scrapbook paper and I'm just gonna cut out some of the clovers. Then I'm just gonna use some tape to hang them on the walls. I bought these tiny little forks. They are metal and they look very realistic. So I'm gonna have these on the side of the cake and place one of the slices of cake on a plastic plate and then put a fork on the side. And now my favorite part is putting it all together. I did make this table in another video, so I will put a link down below in the description. I think my favorite item that I made is the cake. I think it looks the most realistic. I've been using a lot of polymer clay and I'm slowly getting better at making things look very realistic with it. Let me know down below in the comments which of these items that I made was your favorite. Don't forget to also like this video and subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.